When we um when we, we were interviewing a sexologist yesterday, um, Dr. Ava Cadell, and she said that the text that we've seen, we haven't seen your side or what you were saying to him. And so, you know, were you provoking him to say these things or you were enticing him maybe to say these things? What's your response to that? What were you texting him to get him to text you back and say, where would you like to be? I wasn't bitter? texting him anything for him to text me that. He's a grown man. and He made the choice to send those messages to me based off of things that he wanted to try that were in a sexual manner. And I basically obliged to his request. It wasn't anything that I was provoking anybody to say anything. And you obliged to his request because you felt you were in a relationship and that uh, there, there was some tenderness here, some love at times? There was a lot of tenderness and a lot of love, a majority of the time. Was he a generous man in terms of did he pay for everything? Do most people pay to have an, you know relationships with their boyfriend and their girlfriend? I don't think so. No, 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 just in terms of... No, there was of, no money that was involved. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean that. I mean in terms of, like, if you were flying in somewhere or staying in a hotel, that kind of thing. He, t- he took care of all those arrangements. In hindsight, when you think about it now and you read some of the texts that were sent, do you feel in any way that it was degrading or do, or how do you actually look, look uh, back at it? I look back at it and just wish I would have known the real truth and I would have done a lot of things differently. When he was giving that apology on the TV, um, Jocelyn, you were in tears at that time. You were obviously very upset. Are you still upset now? I'm trying to move forward and uh, get on with my life and just try to be happy again. From the outside looking in, um, you look at some of those texts, and I think that um, Gloria said there was a thousand of them, and I don't know how many have been published so far, but is it right to make the assumption that these are some of the tamer ones? Those are some of the tamer to advanced messages, yes. There are much, there are much more, there's much more information that will be getting released very shortly. And the purpose of releasing um, that information, I mean, what, what, What is your end game with actually releasing the information? The purpose is for everyone to know the truth so that people can get the accurate information coming from me and not getting information from third-party sources, actually getting the information from me, which will be the truth. Joslyn James is with us on Radio Live. SextingJoslynJames.com is uh, the website, and I'll spell it out for you very shortly. So where did you meet him exactly, when and how? I met him in a club in Las Vegas that I was working at, and things just, t- you know, took off from there. Uh, was he on his own? Was he with other people? He was with a group of people. And did you know any of those people? Uh, a couple of them I knew. Um, knew them as what? They, you knew them because they you'd seen them with him in other situations, or you knew them because you knew... I'd, I'd seen them with him in other situations and uh, a couple of them were cel- other celeb- athletic celebrities. Um, did you know any of them by name? Um, I'm not going to discuss and divulge anybody else's name. His, um, his best friend is a New Zealander, Steve Williams, who's also his caddy and he's been very vocal uh, about you know not knowing or not knowing anything about it. Did you ever meet him? Do you know who, who, who he is? I know who he is, yes. Did you ever meet him? I'm not going to divulge that information at this time. Did you ever have any contact with him on any level at all, though? I'm not going to divulge that information at this time. So, in terms of if you saw him again, you would recognise him? Yes, I would. And did you would you recognise him because you've seen him on the telly or you've seen him in person? Both. And would he, is he the kind, was he close, I mean, he's been a friend for 10 years and he was the best man at Tiger's wedding. Did he go, would he go night clubbing with him to these clubs as well? Uh, he was out with him a couple times that I saw. And what did you, would you in that situation talk to Tiger? I only talked to Tiger in public situations when I was invited to be in the area. So say you're a waitress but at if the... I, if I wasn't there, if, I, if it wasn't at one of the places that I was working at, then I didn't approach him out of his, you know, respect for his privacy. But in a situation where you were working in a club or something like that, that you would certainly do that? Yes. So in one of those situations, is that where 
can I ask you, would you have met Steve in a situation like that, perhaps? That is definitely a possibility. So he would know who you were? I would have to say probably yes. The... Uh, you know, from from everything else, is the apology enough now, Jocelyn, or is there... Do you think you deserve more now? Because we also understand that there are two terminations, which is incredibly emotional, incredibly draining on all kinds of levels and um, and also heartbreaking as well. We are, and, and I can fully understand that. So is there more than just an apology you want from Tiger? Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get an apology and I'm just going to have to live with that. So... Do you um, now that you've retired from what you're actually doing to earn money? Do you want do you want some other compensation from him? Uh, I'm not seeking any compensation from him. From here, though, he he's saying that he's going to play golf again, Jocelyn, and he's going to go to the um, to the Masters. Uh, do you think that there's going to be an attempt to shut you down before then? Because this, all the texts that are going to come out, they're going to create headlines as well, you know, and this is all going to be a massive distraction for this guy. He's got a team of people around him that control and manipulate everything about that comes out about him. Do you fear that they're going to try and shut you down? I don't know what they're going to do, and that's, you know, that's their decision to do whatever it is that they seem us, feel necessary to do. So, so at, at the same time, though, do you feel that um, that uh, that you're going to be, I suppose, allowed to get away with continuing to put these texts out without, at some stage, they say, "Look, enough's enough." I don't have any comment about that. You've also said that the last thing you want to do is, I suppose, upset Ellen or or do anything more to cause grief in her life. Do you think that what's happening at the moment, though, with the text is only going to do that? Or do you think this is Tiger's I responsibility th- to take care of? I believe that Ewan has the right to know the truth, and I am not sure what uh, Tiger has told her, and I believe these are just, you know, just more, you know, information that, you know, she has the right to know, because I'm not sure what he actually really told her about the relationship that he had had with me. And finally, look, I just want to clear a couple of things up. We thank you so much for your time. Um, the text that you've had from Tiger, have you had texts? Would you have had a text from his caddy, Steve Williams? Have you got texts from any of his other management? I'm not going to comment on that. And look, I want to make the point also um, that uh, you, you aren't being paid for this interview. And let's make that point very clear. Um, because uh, just in case people are wondering, that uh, you very generously agreed to speak to us and there's no money changing hands, is there? That is correct. Um, and uh, it's simply that what? You want to hear people to hear your story? That is correct. Where does it go from here? What do you think is going to happen next? I've got a couple things planned and everybody can stay tuned and keep keep themselves updated with, you know, my future plans with uh, sexbeanjocelynjames.com and uh, that's where all my information will be posted. Because you could charge for the interview. I mean, that's the reality, isn't it? You could if you wanted to, but you haven't. Right. And it's sexting Jocelyn James, S-E-X-T-I-N-G J-O-S-L-Y-N J-A-M-E-S dot com. It's all one word. That's correct. Jocelyn, we thank you so much for your time. We thank you so much for being so candid and honest with us as well. Thank you. Good on you.